Jalen Hurts has become one of the best QBs in the league in a very short amount of time and despite all the doubt, he has proved that he can lead a Super Bowl caliber team and after an offseason in which the Philadelphia Eagles improved even more, this team is starting to look like a nightmare for the rest of the league. In this video, I'm going to be talking about some of the recent news and rumors around this team as we start to head into camp. But before I begin, I would really appreciate it if you would drop a like and subscribe, it only takes 5 seconds, plus you can always change your mind. I'm on the road to 20k subscribers, and we are just growing super fast right now. So, before the start of the 2022 season, the Eagles declared that Jalen Hurts was going to be the franchise QB. And that was a great decision, because he accomplished more than most people could have ever dreamed, and even though he lost in the Super Bowl, he put up an MVP caliber performance. And more importantly, the thing that has stood out the most is that he may not be the club's loudest or most animated guy, but you can see that he's a fearless leader with both his words and his actions on and off the field. So even though in 2020 the Eagles did miss big by taking Jalen Rieger over Justin Jefferson, they made up for it big time by taking the risk and drafting the guy who transferred to Oklahoma and had a big year in the second round. In the 2022 season, Hertz put up 3,700 yards with 22 touchdowns and only 6 interceptions. I know the Eagles have a pretty stacked roster which definitely helps, but I couldn't stand how people were saying that anyone could be successful in that offense because Hertz is special and when he was injured for a few weeks and the production fell off, it pretty much shut the mouths of all those haters. Alright, so moving on to some of the recent moves, in the grand scheme of things, the Eagles enjoyed a successful offseason. They did lose some important players to free agency, and they didn't engage in too many noteworthy deals outside of the draft, but they were able to retain more important players than many had anticipated, and they locked up Jalen Hurts for the near future. With their two first round picks, the Eagles took Georgia defensive tackle Jalen Carter and linebacker Nolan Smith, and as the draft went on, they definitely did their best to fill some of the holes from last season. Even with all the risk involved in the Carter pick, I think it was a steal because he was one of the most talented players in the class. Now that training camp is almost here, we're about to learn so much about this team, and there's already been bold claims made by outside sources, but also by one of the actual players in Devin Allen, who signed with the team in the 2022 offseason making his return to football after quitting due to injuries and becoming a track and field star. Allen originally didn't make the roster last season, but ended up signing to the practice squad and eventually worked his way up to where he is now, and he stated that he's the fastest player in the league, which may be true, but is still crazy to say, with guys like Tyree Kill, DK Metcalf, and Paris Campbell around. Anyways, I hope Allen ends up making the team if he's available for camp, and he could be a great guy to add for special teams. Moving on to some of the more relevant things, the Eagles did actually make one huge move outside of the draft in trading for DeAndre Swift from Detroit. The Eagles got this guy for dirt cheap, and in Detroit, he had to share the backfield with Jamal Williams. I think Swift is a pretty nice upgrade from Miles Sanders, and now that he gets to be the RB1 behind the best O-line in the league, I think he is due for a big year in terms of production. And the Eagles definitely should use him a lot and tone down all the running that Hurts does because over time, it's going to wear and tear his body. As I was mentioning earlier, the Eagles took a few guys late in the draft in Sidney Brown and Keely Ringo who definitely will help add depth to the secondary and Ringo locked down Quentin Johnson in the college championship game last year so he definitely has already shown some flashes of what he's capable of. And as I also said earlier, the Eagles not only brought in a bunch of players this offseason but they also retained many key pieces which is just huge and tough to do salary wise when you have this good of a team. They were able to keep Darius Slay and James Bradbury together, which by itself made this offseason a success, and they also brought back guys like Jason Kelsey, Brandon Graham, Rashard Penny, and many others that I haven't mentioned. And who knows, maybe they aren't done yet. DeAndre Hopkins is still a free agent, and he mentioned before that Jalen Hurts is a QB that he would like to play with, and man, if they found a way to land D-Hop, this offense would go crazy. Alright, so I've talked a lot about this offense so far in the video, so now real quick, I want to move over to the defensive side of things. Starting off, the corners throughout the depth chart are going to be absolutely locked down with Slay Bradbury and then the additions of Ringo and Greedy Williams should help as well. And then behind them all will be the talented safeties and Brown and Edmonds. And for the D-line, it will be Carter, Davis, Cox, Brandon Graham, and Josh Sweat. And the linebacking crew is stacked as well with Nolan Smith being added. 
Before I end off this video, I just want to mention that the Eagles are definitely a Super Bowl favorite again this year, and I don't know how they would not be everyone's pick to win the NFC, especially with what they did this offseason. They have what is arguably the most talented roster in the NFL, along with a GM who keeps improving it, and an amazing coaching staff led by the great head coach and Nick Sirianni, who will keep leading them to win a lot of games. I would not be surprised at all if we see the Eagles and Chiefs rematch in the Super Bowl this season because both those teams are just absolutely loaded and got better. And honestly, I would not be mad if that's the case because you could give me Mahomes and Hurts for years and I don't think I would ever get bored of it from a football standpoint. But I'm a Browns fan, so it would definitely drive me nuts. The NFL season is now already under 50 days away and man, I cannot wait until it starts because there is nothing like football season, but I guess we should just enjoy the wait because time moves so fast and training camp is almost here, which is always pretty cool. That's really all I have to say for this one. I kind of just wanted to give a quick preview of this season and why I think the rest of the league should fear the Eagles because they just got even better after coming up just short last year in the Super Bowl. I know I definitely missed a few things in this video because I can't get to everything, so I apologize, but let me know in the comments below what you are most looking forward to in the 2023 season. Thank you all so much if you made it to this point in the video, and if you enjoyed and haven't yet, make sure to drop a like and subscribe because your support truly means the world. And since there is so much to talk about across the league right now, let me know what you would like to see next. And until then, I will see you all later.